Auz billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim Now today's operating segment let's see the objective and before objective we learn outcomes students will be able to understand what is meant by this term operating segment how to determine operating segment and learn how to prepare condensed segment financial statement the objective of reporting segment did financial data is to provide information about the different types of business activities here you need an explanation as i said earlier also that if you have a composite unit of textile so starting from yarn manufacturing then cloth manufacturing then uniform expert manufacturing there are three different segment so we want to see for each segment how much profit or loss they are making because in each segment there is uh, investments involved assets involved liabilities involved so we need to see another example is university in in the university there are so many departments so each department can be a segment so if you want to see which department is making how much profit they are making how, how many assets they are involved so we can have this similarly this segment can be you have a business let's say in lahore you have a business in sialkot also you have a business in gujranwala also so that can also be again a segment geographically so these segments mean so information about the different types of business activities in which an entity entity engage and the different economic environments in which it operates environments means geographically Segment reporting allows to users to make better informed assessment of the risk profile of a business. You know, if you want to see which particular business business is making profit or loss, so accordingly we can adjust. You know, sometimes it happens a segment is not making any profit, so we we want get rid of it. We just sell it off. So that's why we need a segment reporting. Even in one building, you know, like so you can have a different floor and each each floor. owned by one one company but on each floor they have a different businesses so what we do we work it out each business segment reporting segment reporting does not require the allocation of interest expense between the segment because a loan is taken for the business itself not by segment so we do not segregate how much interest to be charged to segment a segment b or segment c no there may be quite genuine difficulties and ambiguities in allocation elements such as assets to different segment another important thing the allocation of assets to each segment you know we want to see for each segment how much profit we are making and how much we have invested so that for for that matter you need a profitability and you need assets involved in those segment so it's a whole itself it's a business itself but again it's on the top there is one company having different businesses most groups of entities now group of entities means simply uh, there is a parent company who owns other companies so each company is become a segment basically in that case so they want to see that if a b c company a hold b or c so let's see how b and c is performing in de- in defining segments and allocating assets and liabilities it is common to find that segment information includes amount for unequal unallocated expenses assets and liabilities then when we prepare this segment report so we have to show if there is any unallocated liabilities or assets because at the end of the day we need to reconcile the whole business total assets and total liabilities then the question arises how much to segment a how much to segment b and how much to segment c so we need to reconcile towards the end of it then ifrs 8 does not prescribe how the centrally incurred expenses and assets should be allocated to segments this is very important here you know there are centrally for example chairman office expense there are three segment a b c how those expense of the chairman office will be allocated to abc that's a question mark 
it's not that easy, it's a difficult thing. However, allocation of cost to expenses in an area where the basis chosen by an entity can be a significant effect on the segment results. For example, there is a fixed cost. You pay fixed cost for the entire building and there are three segments in that building. The question arises, how to allocate? Better it is the area occupied, you can allocate it, that can be possible. But there are certain other cases where you cannot. IFRS, however, does require that amount to be allocated on the reasonable basis. If at all you need to allocate, you must find out the reasonable basis. Not straight away 10%, no. Make sure that, for example, you want to allocate it, take the sales of it. Take the sales fraction, uh, ratio and then total per, uh, per ratio of your scope divide in different segments. And you must be clear that a reasonable base and you have to allocate it on that base. If you have to do it, if you don't do it, then you have to allocate it. Simple. Thank you very much.